Hi and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about Excel's count functions and how to count text within a range of cells that contain both numbers and text. Right, hopefully you guys find this useful. If you do, please hit the like button, hit click subscribe and uh, don't forget to tap that bell. Right, let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is um, have a data set like this one here. So for example, I've just mocked up a, a small, small little table which contains both numbers and text. Um, and I'm going to give you two examples. One is the example that you may have come across before and then the um, updated COUNTIF um, function that will actually handle this for you in um, a matter of seconds. Right, so the first thing that we're going to do is show you this old method which is a COUNT um, a function and what this will do is it will count absolutely all of the values um, within the um, range um, as long as it has something in there so basically it will skip over blanks but if there's a value added to a cell number or text it will count it and the next thing you do is you actually subtract the count function uh, and you'd again select the entire range of cells and that would be it so basically what you end up with is a count all of the um, values and then minus just the values that actually are number based and you return seven so there are seven text um, cells within that range um, that's an old way it's uh, been around for years um, and this method is the one that I would recommend that you all use and um, it's quite simple we open up with a count if um, and we'll open up a parentheses. To start with, we're going to select the entire range, press comma, and now we have our criteria. And our criteria, if we open up a double quotation, what we're going to do is actually just put an asterisk in between um, and then close the function. And this will return seven. And the way that this function works, being as simple as it can, is it's going to look at all of the values that are in this particular cell and count them if there has any text. So what happens is the asterisk is a wildcard. It just says count anything with a wildcard. And because there is a uh, numerous amounts of text in here, um, and they could be different types of words, and I can show you that in a second. So if I remove one of those, it will drop down to six. And if I type in game, it would also go up to seven. And you see how these two functions work. Very straightforward, very simple. Um, and hopefully this guy has helped you out, guys. If it does, please hit the like button, subscribe, tap the bell, and I'll catch you in the next one. 